Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for sale here today is a Komatsu D37EX Bulldozer. This is a Comstat 2 machine. Um, EX uh, designates that it's a regular track machine as opposed to a low ground pressure. Komatsu keeps the EX for uh, regular tracks and PX is for low ground pressure. The serial number of this tractor is, um, it's got a short serial number. It's 5058 and I'm gonna, six, and I'm gonna leave that last digit blank. We're gonna talk about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll run it in the third. Uh, price on a new machine like this these days is, um, I don't know, 130 grand. I hadn't uh, priced these machines out in a while, so I couldn't tell you for certain, but uh, they're somewhere around 130,000. The hours on this particular dozer are uh, 2,741 hours on a uh, working hour meter. We do believe that number to be accurate. As I actually sold this tractor to this customer when it was brand new. So, comparable, uh, the weight of this tractor, tractor is uh, 13,250 point, pounds. The widest point is this dozer blade here, which is 8 foot and 11 inches wide. Um, tallest point is the uh, top of that cab, which is 8 foot 10 inches uh, tall. The transportation length for this tractor and transport profile is 13 and a half feet. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost all the machines we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine with no rust. We're far enough south and 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. I mention that because you might see some surface uh, rust where you know, where the paint's been flicked off and the rain's gotten to it, but it in no way, shape, or form is pervasive. This is a rust-free machine. Um, just about every one of the machines we purchase uh, comes from about one of 30 different large, well-organized contractors and municipal municipalities that we deal with here in the area. This particular dozer had a conscientious maintenance manager. Uh, with an excellent maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. We, as well as our customers, have been happy with all of the machines that we purchased from these guys. And it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics thoroughly inspect it. And if everything checks out on the machine, everything's good with it, and the money's right, before I write a check, I go out and I personally inspect it. So there's several layers of... Uh, safety that we've got built into our system of acquiring equipment. Um, I was trying to see if you got ripper hydraulics for this machine, but really a ripper on this size dozer is just really window dressing because they're, they're really kind of too small to do any kind of ripping, but I mean you can't get them. Um, as far as the engine goes, this machine's got a uh, Komatsu SAA4D102E-2 engine. It is turbocharged and it's aftercooled. So you get about 85 net horsepower out of that engine. Got a 44 gallon tank, which will give you 12 to 16 hours of operation depending on your application. This machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks, everything on it works. All the fluid levels are where they should be. Uh, this has got a, uh, a full, what they call a full power shift transmission which runs through all the gears without hesitation. 
Top speed on this tractor is about six miles per hour. As far as the undercarriage goes, this machine's got, the undercarriage is about 75%. We probably should pump those tracks out a little bit, but. The final drives are strong. Let me show them that. There's, there's, like I say, no leaks on the final drives. They've got plenty of power. Uh, it'll spin the tracks no problem. As far as things wrong, there's really nothing wrong with this tractor other than these uh, work lamps. Uh, we haven't had a chance to put those work lamps in. missing back here. As far as these shoes go, the track, the actual undercarriage, this track is 16 inches uh, wide. You've got seven foot one inches of track on the ground and the PSI rating of this uh, tractor is about 5.9. Um, you got anything else, Tank? Uh, this was garage kept, so oh, it's yeah. in good shape. That's right. This machine uh, came from actually it was from a scrap metal yard, so uh, they had a they had a huge awning that they kept this uh, this tractor under. They didn't really use it that much, so uh, and like I say, I sold it to them brand new. Uh, we're gonna run the machine in the next clip. Uh, so this blade is uh, eight foot eleven wide, and it is. Uh, Two foot ten inches tall. your uh, inside of the cab. This is your RPM control. This is your uh, travel control. This is your gear shift selection. Um, these are your lights and whatnot. Uh, this right here, you've got a variable uh, uh, gear shift selection here. So I'll show you that in just a minute. This is your blade control here. There's a little cup holder. This is the seat. You got a few little cracks there, but nothing Nothing too major. Okay, so this. No air codes, all of the gauges work. Oh, this is the, uh, if you select this, notice, this is variable right here. This is a, that stair step. Look at that. I'm going to run this tractor at relatively low idle. Uh, believe it or not, this, this machine, 7 miles an hour, is pretty fast for this dozer. It's quick. So I may not get it up to top speed, but um, uh, plus I don't want to tear up the lot here. So there it goes.